All right. Uh, hello, Finksters. Peter here with another video. Um, today I'll be discussing how to generate a random string in Python. Uh, we'll go over three different methods on how to do this. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Um, so we know in Python that we can create random numbers. Uh, the question is, is there a way to convert those numbers into characters? Um, and, and luckily there is. If you go to ASCIITable.com, there is a chart which shows letters, numbers, symbols, um, and their corresponding numbers. In our case, we'll focus on the decimal column, DEC. So the first printable character looks like is the exclamation point uh, with decimal number 33. Um, and if you scan through the chart, uh, you'll see that the last printable character is the tilde and that ends at 126. So with that in mind, we'll, we'll, we'll specify a, a range of 33 to 126 when we want to generate our random numbers. Um, before that, let me uh, show you what the uh, built-in function is to convert um, numbers. It's uh, chr. So if we passed in the number 33, it should be the exclamation point, and it is. Um, and if you ever need to go back from the character and see what the number is, uh, it's ORD. Okay, so the tilde should be 126. Okay, so it is. Okay, so 33 to 126. Let's uh, let's create a list of numbers that only selects within that range. Uh, so we'll use the list comprehension. Let me, uh, sorry. Let me import the random module first. Um, okay, so let's use list comprehension to create some random numbers. So rand int between 33 and 126. Um, and then let's say that we want it to be uh, just 10, 10 characters long. Four. Okay, uh, we'll save that into a variable called rand list. Okay, so we've got uh, 10 numbers randomly generated. All right, looks pretty random to me. And then the next step is just to, uh, we could use the map function and then specify that chr function for, for each of the uh, numbers in our list. Okay, um, and then don't forget for the map function, we'll have to pass that into a list constructor. All right, so let's call this our random string list. Sorry. Okay. All right, so now we've got our numbers converted into characters, and the last step it's it's in a list format right now. So let's go ahead and convert that into a string. Um, we just have to pass that into the join function. String list, okay. All right, so there you have it. Uh, we have a random string of 10 characters. So um, this can also be uh, all typed into a one-liner. Um, so I'll just quickly do that just to show you. Um, again, we first started with uh, less comprehension to uh, to create a random list of ten numbers within the range thirty-three to one twenty-six. Okay. Um, so now that we have this list of random numbers, we'll call the map function and specify the chr um, and again that will convert the number into its corresponding character um, don't forget we need to pass this into a list constructor 
and lastly we'll pass that into join to make a string okay so there we have it a another string randomly created um, in the Python interpreter if you, if you don't know if you push the up arrow it'll it'll if you keep pushing it it'll just go through all of your previous commands so if I keep calling the last command it will keep generating random numbers of size 10 so I hope that makes sense pretty cool um, the second method is let's see sorry okay so for the second method if, if you don't want to have to deal with this chart and having to always refer to it um, there is a string module within Python and they they have already predefined some constants so this is perfect for our purposes and I'll quickly show you some of these uh, so we'll import the string module so let's see the first one which is ASCII letters okay so it's lowercase and uppercase letters uh, let's see digits okay all of the numbers uh, so the one we'll we'll use is the printable one uh, but you need to uh, keep in mind that it does include the white spaces so you've got space tab new line etc so we need to make sure to leave those out um, so let's go ahead and do that um, so I'll use list comprehension again to to make a list of all of the printable characters except the white spaces so x for x in x dot in space okay so create a list from all of the printable characters and leave out the white spaces so I'll call this our printable list okay so print Let's see what this looks like okay looks good uh, looks like all the white space are now gone so now we just need to randomly choose from this list again we can import our random module um, and we'll use the choices function uh, the choices function you, just, you need to pass in uh, a list so we'll use the one that we just made um, and then uh, the k parameter uh, you can specify the size so let's just say we want to make it 10 again okay and then we'll call this our random list all right so now we've we've randomly chosen um, some characters into a list and then we just need to convert that into a string again we'll just use the join join function so and list print. okay oops pring print okay sorry all right so that was method two um, and then this can also be all typed into one line uh, I'll just quickly do that again uh, first thing we did was create our printable list with list comprehension not printable if x not in okay list comprehension to make our list excluding the white spaces um, we'll call the choices function from the random module and specify size 10 um, and then that'll be a list so we need to call the join function on that okay let's see if that works and it works and then up arrow to call it again and again cool so that was the second method um, and then the third method to 
create a random string. Uh, this third method is, is specifically for if you want to um, create passwords, right? So that's probably one of the common use case for generating random strings is, is for passwords. So uh, there is a secrets module within Python. Um, and it states that this is used for generating cryptographically strong random numbers suitable for passwords. Interesting. So I'll show you how to do that. And it does have this choice, uh, this choice function, uh, and you just have to pass in a, a sequence. So, so with that in mind, we will kind of follow the set the second method where we created our list of printable characters. Uh, let me clear screen. Okay. So let's do that. Uh, we'll make our our list of printable characters. So let me import secrets before I forget. Okay. Uh, so our printable character list is x for x in string dot printable x not in. Okay, so, oops, sorry. Okay, so we've got everything except the white spaces. Um, and then now we need to just use the uh, choice function that's in secrets. Uh, passing in our list. Um, and then we'll use a generator expression to, let's say we want it to be 16 in length. Um, I believe the, for password, uh, password requirements, I think 16 is the minimal acceptable length. So that's, that's why I chose 16. Um, I guess if you want it to be more secure, you could, <laughs> make it even longer, uh, but just for the example, uh, that's why I use 16. Um, so after we call the secrets.choice function, then we'll need to join that. Okay, so there we have it. Um, a randomly generated string that is, what's the word, cryptographically strong there using you know, the secrets uh, dot choice function so there you have it I hope that makes sense so again um, with this one I created that printable list of characters similar to the, what we did in method 2 and then from there we just have to randomly choose from that list uh, using the secrets dot choice function um, and then we we have to use a generator expression to specify that we want to do that um, 16 times. Uh, and then that goes into the join function. Um, so that's a pretty cool Python one-liner right there for generating a strong password. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, I think that's about it from me. Um, let's see. Yeah, so if you have any any other questions, um, make sure to, to go to this blog post um, and have a read through it. It's got uh, some links in there, which also uh, goes to other discussions. For example, if you, if you want to know a little bit more about the ASCII um, chart that I mentioned, um, uh, there's a link on there to, to read more about that. Um, the CHR and ORD built-in functions that I used. Um, you can go through there, some random numbers. So a lot of links in here on this blog post. Um, so just have a read through. Uh, if you have any questions, um, I know Chris uh, is, uh, makes himself, he tries to make himself available. Um, if you are a premium member um, and if you're not a part of the Discord chat, um, I highly recommend that you, you look into uh, joining that. There's a few of us on there right now at the moment. Uh, if you're not a premium member yet, um, yeah, uh, I highly encourage you to, to, to consider joining. 
Um, so there's there's a lot of us on there that um, are learning Python, um, and it would be fun to learn together with you. So um, reach out to us if you ever need help. So I think that's about it for me. Take care, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.